So this will be the first time I have ever gotten all the pinnacle weapons for a single season, considering I never got the crucible weapons from the past seasons. But this season I ended up getting Revoker and Recluse, and Luna's Howl and Mountaintop. I've gotten all those within the single season, which I'm very proud of myself. But this will, review will be towards Revoker, considering I've already made a, a review for Recluse. I'm about to make one for Mountaintop and Luna's Howl, but we're gonna stick to Revoker for this one. So this quest will test how good or crap you are with a sniper rifle. The quest steps to get Revoker are to get 300 sniper kills, 50 sniper headshots, and 3,500 glory points. I absolutely love these steps because it's not something outlandish like Not Forgotten or Mountaintop used to be, especially since you don't have to maintain it up to 3,500 glory points, which means you don't have to worry about losing, which also means I'm not constantly raging when I get placed against a four stack with snipers and team shooting every chance they get. Honestly, the hardest part is, is just going to be getting kills themselves because you don't have to use a sniper when you're going for the glory points, but if you're not much of a sniper, then that's where you're going to be tested. So after all that work, is this gun great? Will this gun be the gun that destroys everything? No. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. On a serious note, this gun is nice. I love the reticle. It shoots smooth. It feels good. But it's not like Recluse where when you proc Master of Arms, you melt everything. So let's talk about let's let's take a look at the intrinsic perk. Reversal of Fortune. Missing a shot returns the bullet to the magazine after a short duration. This is what really makes the gun good and weird at the same time. On paper, this gun sounds like a gun that's gonna be great for sniping. But the more you use it, the more you kind of realize this gun's more for beginners like me i before i went for the sniper rifle i never sniped in in crucible i mean yeah in crucible at least not like tried i would try to like do whatever like didn't really matter but this was the first time i actually went into the crucible with actually trying to get kills in mind so i just think that's an odd choice I think it's really weird too because this weapon has some dope ass stats and this gun has snapshot sights which helps faster aim so that's it's just it's really weird I love this gun but it's just kind of like it's for beginners but it's made for me but like all the steps I had to do for it I'm really I'm really conflicted with this gun on a small note though on for the intrinsic perk if you miss two shots you will only get refunded one shot so keep that in mind and if you miss a shot and swap to another weapon, you will still get that bullet refunded. Just a few things to know. So I ended up going for the sniper using only two snipers from what I remember. is Nagi's Burden and Beloved. Not at the same time, obviously, but honestly, there isn't much advice I can give you considering it's PvP. But the tips I do have is like, you could run a Hunter, Middle Tree, Void. That's probably going to be the best one since it has flawless execution. You might as well do it now before it gets nerfed because it's only it's going to like what three seconds now I think instead of the nine. You could use Capri Sting and Graviton Forfeit, but honestly, at this point, I, if you're trying to get it as Shadow Keep, I don't know. I I don't know. I can't, I can't give you advice for that. Obviously, you have gear sets that revolve around a gun, like my hunter has a helmet with increased sniper ammo reserves with remote connection, which increases super gain from sniper kills. My arms have sniper rifle scavenger with energy weapon loader, which increases re reload speed for my energy weapons. And my cloak has an extra sniper rifle scavenger, which lets me pick up an extra round of ammo. So I'm picking up three rounds per brick. So this is the part of the review that I'm going to be kind of putting in my actual thoughts because this is a script that I wrote a while ago. So my opinion hasn't really changed on this gun. It still feels like a very beginner weapon because it pretty much is. My only different my only difference is that I love this gun more. The honestly, the kind of shit I've been able to put like do with this gun is just outlandish. Like I'm just like blown away by this gun sometimes. Which is honestly just such a great feeling. I love this gun, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say that. Uh, I'll, I'll just put something up right now just to show you guys.
Like I said before, this gun is great for people wanting to get into sniping more, like me. This gun has given me more muscle memory and given me the confidence to try some outlandish shots that I would never normally go for. Now, after a month of owning it, after like actually two months of owning it, if I remember correctly, I swapped the Revoker for Izanagi's Burden, and I can honestly say getting Revoker has probably been the best thing for me since now I go in with a sniper rifle about 60% of the time compared to never using a sniper aside from PvE stuff. So for that reason alone, I love this gun. The fact that it's given me the confidence to go in with my like my my build that i go for in pvp now well be, before it used to be like a shotgun a hand cannon and like a machine gun now it's a sniper rifle with an smg or luna's howl because i really do like luna's howl and literally anything on heavy because i usually never use heavy anymore so i love it i love the fact that i can use sniper rifles honestly this gun is fun to use especially when you hit fire to get that random headshot it's just oh so fucking juicy i would try to get this if you really want to practice sniping more since this gun will help you take shots you usually wouldn't even try since you could just take the round back for that reason alone i think it's worth it but if you're an avid sniper right like sniper user then this gun will be to, like fun to fuck around with but in the end of the day you'll probably just you wouldn't trade it for a sniper rifle that you're already using so that's my review for revoker i know this one's a bit on the short side since i really didn't talk much about it just me gushing out over it so i'll probably try to extend it for 10 minutes but if not i really don't, don't matter i'm not monetizing this channel yet so thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think about this gun do you guys agree with me or am i way off on this one let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later